Hi everybody, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome back to another tutorial of data science. In this tutorial, I will give you a deeper understanding of the schemas. So, there are two different type of uh, schema. Schema is basically the pattern of designing of the tables or the data model. Overall, there are two different type of uh, schema. There is a star schema and there is a snowflake schema. So, in this video, you will get the detailed understanding of how star schema and snowflake schema uh, is created and uh, you know uh, what is the pros and cons of these two data models okay so if you are new to the uh, channel i would request please subscribe this channel like the video to stay connected with me so let us continue yeah so you see here this is our legacy database structure if you see your ER diagram, these are tables. There is a supplier table, product table, category table. So these all tables will be using in our training also. Okay. This is the relations. Customer table is connected with order, order to product. This is one to many relationship, and uh, order to order detail, and order detail has product and then supplier and blah blah blah. So they are interrelated. There is. You can say this is a customer master, this is a supplier master, which is again connected with the product master, and product master is connected with this transaction table normally, which is a order and order detail. These are not uh, master tables, these are transaction tables. Transaction tables are those where the data entry frequency is very short. And in a day, thousands of data are entered. And Master tables are those tables, those are used for you know repetitive uses. Okay, they are entered once and used in multiple instances. The data into the master table are very rarely added. Okay, so this is a normal practice of our transaction database. Now, how the analytics database looks, looks like when we uh, see when we want to extract the data from the data warehouse, in turn, these data of multiple databases are converted to this type of format, OLTP data models. Now, what is OLTP? Online Analytical Processing. And same way, Online Transaction Processing. So this is a OLTP data model, which is normal transaction data model. And this is the format or logical format of a analytical data model which is a conf you know which is again divided into two types one is a star schema which is very structured and one is a snowflake schema snowflake is structured but some you know datas are having further master tables further connected to master tables or lookup tables This is how the star schema looks like. So this is a sales table which we consider as a transaction table where the data entered very frequently. And uh, these are the dimension table. Dimension means in turn uh, in in, in uh, OLTP practice we call it as master tables. These master tables here in analytical data processing call as dimension and transition table in analytical data processing is called as fact so when we try to create a report or analytics we have to find the fact fact means what you want this is, is a fact to answer a question whatever your answer is that's a fact so fact is what is the number of customer that's a fact what is the total sales that's a fact What's the total margin? That's a fact. So all those type of answers, or all those type of attributes are mentioned over here in the fact table. You see, customer key, order key, product key. So if you just sum off, if you just count them by using some aggregation methods, you will be answering the question of your customer by various types, various categories. So so order by customer how many customers are placed 
how many orders in that case customer details will be pulled from this table and product details or order detail will be correct called from this table so this is more structured why it is called as star because one fact table just try to correlate this fact table is a kind of a transition table one fact table is surrounded by multiple dimension tables those are kind of master tables so those master tables or those dimensions table do not further associated with any other master tables are you able to see they are connected to any other master tables directly no they are connected to fact tables but if we see a snowflake schema which is most widely used this is how it is this is a sales which is a transaction table sales fact and then this is connected with the customer table which is a dimension again customer is also connected to another dimension table city city is connected to another dimension table state and state is connected to country so that means this fact table or transaction table is connected to multiple uh dimension table in one stage and those dimension tables are further connected to other dimension tables creating a star schema is a little bit difficult because you cannot transform all those data to uh, individual master tables individual dimension table so if you want to keep them separated then you have to follow the snowflake schema well that is all about star schema and snowflake schema i hope you like this video see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye